All right, let me do a video here for you guys to show you with these worn out winter force snow tires and this snow out here, what we've gotten. And starting out in it going up this hill right here, I'm gonna show you what this car can do. And I don't even have the lock button on for four wheel drive. I got nothing. I'm gonna go up this hill, okay? And keep in mind, you know I drive a RAV4. I have two of them. This is the 2010 V6 all wheel drive. I'm barely giving this thing gas, okay? I'm going up this hill, went through that big old ditch right there. And you can see that this hill is, it's fairly steep. Show you out here what I'm climbing. Everybody wants to rag these cars. And I've made multiple points that as long as you don't bind your suspension up and get it in a, you know, like a wheel up off the ground or something, if you know how to drive, Lord, I'm going up through here in this rough mess. I mean, of course it's going to slip, but you see right here, I came up through here, turn and come back down. I'm over here in it now and you can see the grooves down there in the snow. If you want to pause it where the bottom of this thing is dragging uphill now, uphill, okay? And I'm going to ride over here in this deep stuff here. I want you to look at this. I had absolutely no issues whatsoever. And I'm focusing more on what I'm actually getting in the video than actually what I am on the road and how it's laid out. So, clearly, the car didn't have that much trouble, even though it doesn't appear to be that deep. I gave you all a little bit of a show here and rode over in the deeper stuff coming up the road, which is right there. You could clearly see how deep the stuff is over at the guardrail. And I will go down there. I will turn right here and I will show you right here's the road zoom in I rode up over there in that okay y'all see that right there I rode uphill in that mess I come all the way up that I got right over here and right there it is I rode up that uphill you see how steep that is coming up through there cars leaning to the right as you're coming up left as you're looking down okay i come over here and i had driven up that i rode up that come right through it this is a wet snow yeah i'm gonna show you something i'm not saying this thing's a jeep and i'm not saying that this thing is a subaru but heck even all subarus they all wheel drive ain't created quite equal so it, it's just it's all in the tires and how you if you know how to drive and all this stuff. I want you to look at this. Right there, I can put my phone. Now you look where I rode up the hill. Okay, I came up the hill. Right here is the bottom of my car. I pushed this stuff as I was coming up. All right. So I really don't think that the car is that terrible. And I put my phone. Let me zoom back out here. Now you see that right there coming up? I was pushing that mess with my car. Because right here is where my car... Right here's where it was dragging. See right here? You look at the grooves in that snow. Now you look down through there, and you can see that that gets steep. I walked right up that didn't even have four wheel drive lock on. Now I'm gonna zoom in right here, and you see I come up this, and I'm gonna put my finger right here in front of the camera. You see my finger right here? You see right there, tip of my finger? You see that mess where them limbs are hanging over the guardrail? Just on this upper side of it, I was pushing that. You see how deep that is right there? I was pushing that. With the right tires and you just keep your momentum up, which I wasn't even going fast. I wasn't even pushing the car. If you just keep your momentum up, then you'll do fine. But everybody, here, right there's what I'm running too. That right there's all I've got left. I got a new set of snow tires on order. They'll be here Monday. I'm debating on whether I'm even gonna put them on or just finish wearing these out this winter. Look at that. I'm going to wear these out probably. Put these on, the new ones on next winter. But I'm giving a shout out to uh, my car because it actually did really good. So I just wanted to throw that out there to every RAV4 hater because it, it, it bugs me. You want to test a car based on rollers? Give me a cotton picking freaking brake, people. Give me a brake. I'm not out here driving on daggone rollers. You pull up on them and then you stop and then you just sit there. 
you got nothing to get traction on. I'm sick of the roller test. I don't care because momentum wouldn't happen like that. If you have momentum up and you went across in rollers, it might slip for a second, but momentum's going to push you. I'm not stopping on this stuff and then trying to pull out. I'm driving. I don't have to get out here and stop. So I hope everybody understands my point where I'm coming from here. You don't need a roller test to test an all-wheel drive system. Right tires, momentum, know what you're doing. That right there is what will get you where you need to go. My wife's 2013 RAV4 does just as good as this one, and she's got a shorter tire, and she sits lower to the ground. She can push more, just as much snow as what I can because she knows how to drive in this. I grew up in it. The car does fine. So... I just want to throw that out there, let everybody know. You quit ragging the RAV4 just because it can't complete a roller test. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. That is not real world. That is a bunch of made up 